Hello everyone, I saw this on Amazon the other day and I thought it looked quite interesting so I ordered one, it was only about 10 quid and it is a Suwalki, if I'm saying that right, outdoor power bank power bank with igniter uh, lighter cigarette function, so it's basically a combination of a torch a mobile phone sort of recharging power bank, you know where you charge them up and then it holds a charge which you can then charge something else and a lighter and I think it's going to be a bit like an arc lighter or a coil lighter so it's going to be one of those ones that uses um, electricity rather than petrol. So I thought that was quite interesting. Or, you know, gas. Yeah, three in one power bank charger, windproof lighter, e igniter, LED flashlight. Uh, so technical specifications high capacity lithium ion battery, 3.7 volts, 2000 microamps, mini USB input port, uh, 5 volts, USB output port. 5 volts, 400 to 600 microamps, and that's the size there 3.58x21, you know, so inches, and it doesn't weigh very much. So let's get out and actually have a look at the thing. So here's what you get in it you get this cable, uh, which is for charging it, you get some instructions as well I haven't looked at yet. You can take the side off and take the battery out, so lithium ion in there is actually replaceable. So if I have a charged one, I'll see if I can pop that in first rather than charging this up to show you all the functions. But it seems like you have a little sort of safety here, you lift that up. That's your sort of coil lighter, arc lighter thing, so that'll be interesting. Then you've also got a flashlight, which I assume you turn on with that when it's charged. And you've got um, your sort of input output for charging phones from it there. So we'll get a battery that's charged in there and we'll look at what it does. Right here we go, I can demonstrate it now and it seems as a weird thing where you have to actually put on charge once even just for a few seconds to get it to realise there's a battery in there. I don't know if that's like a safety feature or something. So you push this up to get the flashlight, quite simple. I'll turn the light off in a minute and work out how bright that is. Now underneath here, this is where you have your chargers. So for charging it up you stick the USB in like your computer or plug socket and put like the micro mini USB thing in there and reverse the way around if you're charging something else you'd use that as your power output source quite straightforward uh, when it's charging you've got a series of green lights here that show you how fully charged it is which is quite a nice touch sort of like a progress bar and this is the light a bit so basically you push this up and hold it up and then you'll notice this starts going orange if it's visible on the camera a bit like a toaster and I can feel quite a bit of heat coming off of that already you see if I put that over you might be able to see ah, I think it just does it for a few seconds let's have a look yeah right I'll put that away and we'll see if it lights a candle here is my little tea light that um, you know my arc lighters infamously can't light let's see if this thing's any better Singed it a bit so it does more than the arc like it does. Let's... Hmm. Just wondering if this is because the wick is sort of so old and burnt that it's not lighting very well because of that. It's outputting a lot of sort of smoke and steam, but can't actually get that wick to light. That's odd. But we'll try it with another one of these. Here we have another candle the arc lighter couldn't light, so let's see if this thing can do it instead. I don't know if you have to have stuff above it rather than... Let's try that. Maybe it's just not that hot. Um, now, I'm sure these will light with a lighter, so let me just try that just to prove that it's not that the wicks are totally burnt out. Yeah, so these will light with a zippo, it just seems that thing's not very hot. I'll just try a bit of paper with it to check it actually does work and light anything at all.
Right, we'll see if it can burn a post-it note. I'm hoping it can. It sort of singes it, but I don't know if you could actually call that a fire lighter. This seems to burn the corners really. I mean, I'm assuming it's basically mostly just for cigarettes. Right, so I'm not all that impressed with this as a lighter, to be honest. Um, it might be alright for a cigarette if you lit the end of it and then, you know, sucked in straight away. But for actually lighting paper and starting fires, it doesn't seem to do that at all. I mean, maybe I'm being a bit unfair that it hasn't got fully charged, but again, a bit like arc lighters, while well, you can reach stuff with this one, it's just not quite hot enough. So anyway, let's try this as a torch. Here we have it as a torch. This isn't too bad actually, I think you get quite a long run time. It's not as good as my through night torches obviously, but for um, a little tiny thing, it produces quite a fair bit of light. Ah, okay, so you can do a power check on it by um, pressing that flashlight thing up one bar. You get how many bars? There's only one bar on there, so maybe that's why the light is not running very well, but... Yeah, for a flashlight function, it's absolutely fine. I can't fault it for that. And for a um, you know, memory power bank, which it supposedly do, I'm sure it would do that absolutely fine as well. It's just the lighter seems a bit wimpy on this, to be quite honest. Um, you know, it's the opposite thing from the arc lighter. You can reach stuff with it, but then it's just not good enough to light stuff. Whereas the arc lighter, if it can light it, it you know, incinerates stuff. But, um, yeah, this doesn't seem too bad for 10 quid, to be honest. So what do I think of this thing? Um, I obviously have to test the lighter again when it's had a complete full charge, but the torch function is fine, and as a power bank it would be fine, it's just I'm a bit disappointed with the lighter as of now, but for 10 quid it's not too bad at all.